Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at writing questions. So when we write questions, we want to try and do these three things along with others. But these are th three big ideas. We want them to be able to be quick and easy for people to answer. The quicker and easier they are to answer, the more likely we are to collect more data. We want to make sure that all of the options are covered so that everyone can give us an answer. And we want to keep the wording neutral so that we're not collecting biased data. So questions will be quite specific. So we won't be left trying to figure out what they mean. We want to be able to get truthful answers. We don't want those biased or misleading questions. And we want to use clear and simple language. So not use complicated language not everyone will understand. And we also want to have good grammar and spelling. So one of the concepts is about this response rate. So what a response rate is, is if I've got my target population, all the people I'd like to gather information from, then I look at those that I actually collect data from. That response rate is the percentage of those who responded out of everyone I asked. So that's what our response rate would be. So a question non-response, what that means is I can have people who choose not to answer my entire questionnaire, but I can also have people that just skip particular questions that don't answer a particular question. And I want to keep this question non-response as small as possible. So having simple language, easy to read instructions, clear, um, we want to have it well laid out and presented. Having responses that are anonymous and confidential, that makes people more comf comfortable giving us truthful answer. And don't forget your manners, pleases and thank yous go a long way. So here's an example. Our school council wants a questionnaire about student satisfaction with the canteen. So the question asks, did you buy your lunch at the school canteen last week? It's quite simple, yes, no. Um, and it has all of the options covered. You either did or you didn't. And the wording is not is neutral. It's not leading us. This question here, how much money did you spend at the canteen? So again, we're looking to see, does is it easy to answer? And it's easy to answer because people can tick one of the options. So it's very quick and easy. Do we have all of the options covered? So the first one starts at zero dollars. The next one, one to five, six to ten, 10 to 15, more than 16, we can see there that that's covering the whole range of numbers. How satisfied are we with the foods? We've got a range there from 0 to 5. The wording is quite neutral. How satisfied are you? And it's an easy one to answer. People will just circle it. What days did you buy your lunch? Again, we've listed all the num answers there, so people can just go and tick, so it's nice and easy. I've got all of the options for the weekdays, and the wording is quite neutral. So as another, some more examples. Our Statistics New Zealand is the organisa um, government organisation that writes our census questions, and this is usually done every four years. And so they want to do get really accurate and reliable data, um, but that does come with a huge cost and time to collect this data. So here is some examples of the individual form that is done and um, that every single person fills in. And you can see there's some examples of some of the wording that they have covered. So we want to look for are the questions easy to answer? Are they um do they cover all of the options? And uh, of course, are they, um, is the wording quite neutral? Sorry, my brain just went blank. So if I look, for example, what country were you born in? Question number eight. Does it cover all of the options? So it's got a list of them, a list of some common ones, and then it's got an other category down the bottom for anything else. So that covers all of them. It's quite easy because most people will just give a tick um, and it is a quite a neutral. It just says what country are you born in. There's no judgment or leading bias in there.
The other form that we fill in is a quarter dwelling form and this is one per household. And so this is when they carry, um, collect information about the house, about the area that you live in and so on. And again, each of these questions, they've tried to word them very clearly, very simply, um, but being able to gather very specific information from them. Thanks for watching.